All right, so we're on our way down to Kilkeven. And, Kilkeven, uh, yes, the yeah. home of the great horse ride. Yeah, yes. Now, we've been asked by a lady who has a residence there to come along and see if we can give her some answers because yep. she's been having a lot of activity going on for the last five years. What's some of the things that have been happening? There? Some of the stuff that we know of is um, shaking of the bed, um, there's been uh, bowls sitting on the kitchen bench um, and then getting flung off yep. um, in every which way. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure as to what else. I can't remember off the top of my head. Mm. Um, but yeah, there's there's been some pretty pretty decent sort of activity. Yeah, and we're not sure if it's actually if this is demonic or if this is just a mischievous entity. The backstory to this is she's actually. Um, the home that she lives in is two houses that have been joined together. So the main section of the house is all, as far as I'm aware, we're going to find out more when we get there. But as far as I'm aware, the main section of the house was one building, and then the other build, the other part of the section of the house was another house. Now the main part, she is the first owner outside of the family um, to own that part of the house. So it's been in the family generations you know so and she's the first owner outside of the family to own that or that house so um, yeah I asked her if there was anything to do with like um, if she made any you know done any renovations or work to the home if activity spiked or peaked then and she said not really so I'm more leaning towards a more leaning less sorry I'm leaning more towards a mischievous entity rather than a demonic um, entity because um, yeah, but um, we'll, we'll get up there. We'll find out. Yeah, and, um, we'll see how it goes. For sure. Hey guys, welcome to another video of Night Watchers Paranormal Queensland. Hey. Mate, where are we tonight? Mate, tonight we are at a private investigation yeah. in Kilkeven. Kilkeven, yeah. So what's been going on here? So there's been activity of um, things falling off walls and, and flying across the room. Across the room, yep. Um, balls flying up in the air. Yep, yep. yep. Um, there's been beds shaking. Um, Front door, open front door, up yeah, the front door. Now while we've been here, just guys, before we even started rolling tonight, when we just got in here meeting everybody, we got told about the front door. Now we're going to do a bit of a tour through with Shireen. She's going to show us through the place and yeah. tell us what's been going on uh, for you guys to see. But one of the things she told us was about the front door. Now I tried to open the door. It's very, very hard. You have to push the latch and you have to basically nudge shoulder it. With, yeah, nudge. shoulder nudge it or hip nudge it to open it up. The door's opened about three times now, yeah. saying, since we've been here. <laughs> yeah. The activity here is just beyond, beyond normal. It's full on. So anyway, I want you guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Share it with all your mates and sit back and enjoy. Enjoy. Alright guys, we're here in the home with Shireen. Shireen's going to take us through and show us everything that's been happening. So how you been, alright? Yeah, good. Yeah, thanks yeah. for letting us be here tonight. Yeah, no problem. So um, what's been happening? Let's go. Show us. Okay, so also the main thing it's doing at the moment is opening the front door. Yeah. And as I showed you before we started filming, yep. it is ridiculously hard to open. Yeah, look at that. You've got to nudge it. Like completely really, nudge yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Full on. Like I tried to open it before. No, nah, until she showed me that you have to really hit it. So. Yep. And yeah, like, like I said, three times or so since mm. we've been here. So yep. yep. It seems to be down this end of the house. Mm -hmm. The house used to be two separate houses that got joined. So from this wall forward was part of the original home. Yep. I've owned it for six years and I bought it off a family that has owned it forever. So mm. I'm the first person to ever own it from the original people that built the house. Yep. Yep. Um, so whether that's why we get a lot of activity here. And the other section was an old forestry cottage which doesn't have as much activity in it. Yep. But it's all down. More from here. Mainly yeah. this end. And of you the can house. feel it. You can feel it basically in here compared to in there. Yeah. Yeah. So lots of footsteps up and down this hallway. Yep. Yeah. This is my daughter's room. We get heaps of activity in yep. this room. Yep. So her bed gets shaken. She'll wake up and there's a dark shadow hanging over her. Wow. Lots of things flying off the wall. This went flying off the other night. So that was hung up 
on here on nice. the wall on the nail there. It's been sitting there a year. Yeah. And she woke up hysterical. I heard it thump from my room. Yeah. And it was laying over here on the ground. Wow. So it yeah. actually went from there over to All there. Way. So yeah. if something's going to fall off the wall, it's just going to fall, not actually go from over there. And there's no wind or anything going on. And it's, yeah, there's no way that could happen. It's very heavy. It's like a heavy canvas timber frame. Yeah, it's de yeah, definitely. It's got a bit of weight in it. So there's no way that'll just float no. in the air to over there. No, yeah. no, that's definitely something that's paranormal as such. Yeah. Yeah, and my bedroom gets heaps, of, heaps of activity. Yep. My bedroom door opens and shuts throughout the night. Oh yeah. Night. Yep. Yeah. Um, when when I first bought the place, my daughter was two. Yeah. Um, she was having a nap in my bed, and she woke up hysterical, saying, "There's a mean mum that crawled down the wall." A mean mum. Yeah. Mean mum that was getting angry at her for sleeping in mum's bed. Wow. And she's now eight, and she won't sleep in my room. Right. She's terrified. And it was up there in the corner, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, up there, and she said it came down the wall and got angry at you her for that? being mm. in the bed. Wow. Sweet. Yeah. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty full on. Yeah. Um, yeah, and she was definitely awake when this happened. Definitely awake. Yep. Okay. Two years old. Yeah, right. Okay. And that's something that you just don't make up. You know, a kid just doesn't make that sort of stuff up. Yeah. You know, that's that's pretty. Yeah. And you were saying something earlier about the door handles. What's the yep. go with the door handles? So you hear because they're the old, the, the pull down spring up. You hear them going all night. Yeah. You hear footsteps all night. Yep. You have things going flying off the kitchen benches throughout mm -hmm. the night. Yeah. Um, so lots and lots of activity and noises, doors opening and closing. Yeah. This room my kids won't sleep in. Yeah. Point blank, they refuse. That's just the storage. So we'll get knocking um, on this glass door here. Yeah. So they are terrified of this room, so it's a spare room. So another thing too, guys, is um, Jaden, uh, Shireen's son, used to sleep in this room up Bulba. And he'd be in here and he said that he's had a lady sitting at the edge of the bed. Um, and he's also heard the tapping on the door. And um, this here, I think, me personally, I think this was the main entry. So if you come in, Simon, you'll see here. Yeah. To me, this comes across, guys, put it in the comments if you think so too. We'll turn the lights on, let's see, great. It's like an old sunroom. Yeah, so this here would have been the front doors. This would have been a sunroom. And yeah. this would have been the main entrance to the house with the double doors here. I think personally, this would have been a front sunroom. Front entry door there, yeah. and this is the main door to the house to come in. So that's how I think it would have been set out because I've seen these homes before, and that's how they were set out. But who knows? Really. Um, yeah, yeah but, very, very but common style. Did you turn it on? Yeah, it just flicked. I've seen that. You just seen it? Yeah. That light just came on by itself, guys. And I reckon you would have just got that. But who knows? Really. Um, yeah, yeah but, very, very but, common but, style. Did you just turn it on? Wow, thank you very much. Anybody that is here doing that, that's, we appreciate it. That's great, thank you. If there's anything else you can do um, to get our attention, please do it. We'd be happy for you to do so. Um, so, yeah, like, like Shireen said, you get things like the, the walking of the footsteps, walking, the door handles, the tapping. The bed shaking is a big one for me because to me that, that more... I don't want to use the word. I don't, I, I don't think anything here is demonic. The feeling that I get and the, the things that are being told, mm. I don't think anything comes across demonic. I think what it comes across as is something that is trying to get your attention and it wants you to know something. That either that you're here or it wants to give you a message. I'm hearing something in the room over here. Um, it's either that or it's the dog outside, but I think it came from in here. I just heard a noise in this room. But anyway, um, I think it's trying to give you a message. It wants to tell you something, it wants you to know something. I think that it could be, like you said, you were the first people to live here outside of the family, the original homeowners. Um, that is a big thing um, because with, with that sort of thing, especially if you're doing renovations or changes, but from what you told me, you haven't made any structural changes. The floors, yeah, uh, put it. the air cons in, painting and yeah. new van in the bathroom. So no, no major renovations. Right, yeah, okay. So to me, that just seems like it's, uh, the old family, maybe the original owner, the original builder of the home, he's probably like a little tip that it's not in the family anymore. Who knows? But hopefully we can get some answers to and ask some questions and see what we get. And if you are here, we are going to ask some questions. So hopefully you um, want to put your message across because this will obviously be your first time you've had the chance to do so. So we'd be more than happy to take your answers and your comments and see what you've got to say. Um, yeah, cool. Alright, so guys, we're going to get into the investigation right now, so sit back and let's do it. Uh, 
Okay, guys, so what we've got right now is we are here in the living room of the home. Yep. Now, we are completely lights out. So, this is complete lights out now. Apparently, as soon as... Who is it? Oh, it's you moving. It's next to me. I didn't realise you were standing up. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. apparently, as soon as the lights are out in this place, bang, instantly it starts happening. So, that's what we've been told. So, we're going lights out right now. We're here. We've got the cat ball. We've got a cat ball here over to the side. We've got a cat ball behind us over here. And we've also got a um, uh, light grid. That's just me with the yep. cat, touching the cat ball. We've got a light grid. That's that's, that's with the light with the cat ball. Just touch I it. might just shift we've that. We've got so a light. Yep, we've got a light grid. Hopefully, it stays so there. You know, what, I'll put it to. I'll put it into. Yeah, know. wedge it there. Yeah. We'll see that, yep. Okay, so we've got two cap balls, we've got the light grid. We've also got the um, the uh, K2 over here, we'll grab the K2. K2. Uh, and we've got the um, we've got the thermal imager, and we've also got the REM pod sitting over here on the lounge. So I might actually move that REM pod. Yep. I might put it just up here. Cool. Sit it there. So that way everything is in shot, everything's in shot. So what we're gonna do, and I've got the thermal imager right here, so what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can make contact right now. So if anybody is here with us right now, we ask you to come forward. And you heard that? Yeah. Heard noises. Is that you? Please make a noise again if you can. We're getting noise out here. <clears throat> Can you make yourself known for us? Oh, that could be the dishwasher. Could very well be. Okay, there's one, there's one item going here. There's one bit of, um, what do you call it? Appliance that's on at the moment. That's a dishwasher. So that could be the dishwasher making noise. All right. So. Oh, it's you guys. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. As soon as you said that, there was a big bang outside. Big bang outside, yeah. was it? Jaden's yeah. scared, so we're going to go. Yeah. Okay. Because there's, yeah, like, there's... Actually, actually yeah. like, something fell You said that, and you said you heard a noise in here, and something just went bang out there. So he's like scared, so he wants to go. Out. Okay, that's fine. Here, go for it. Head out. Yeah, that's okay. No, what we, we heard some tapping in there, and then I realised, ah, oh, it's probably your dishwasher. Well, there was, yeah, there was something out there. Right. He's like, we could have given yeah, yeah, it here. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah. Okay, got you. Okay, right. yeah. I've got your number if I need to call you, so that's cool. you got mine if you need to call me. Um, but that's cool, we'll just do our thing and we'll just see us when you come back. Um, so, yeah, okay, that's all we've got so far is we just heard that tapping and I realised it's probably the dishwasher. I can turn it off. I can turn it off. No, no, that's okay. No, we the just know. The dishwasher just makes a drainage turn, it doesn't tap, it goes up. Yeah, it was like a... I didn't know if it might have been something in there making noise. Well, or outside, that's kind of what we heard. But it was yeah. Now it's like... Okay, so I, I won't completely disregard that sound then, if that's the case. And I don't think that the door's going to open if we're sitting out there either. No, and that's okay. That's a big yeah. one, so, okay. got, so we'll keep the little boy not scared. <laughs> that's right, man. It's all good, bro. <laughs> no, it's all good. That's a, your fear is a good thing to have. It keeps you alive, mate. So, um, all right. No worries. Do you yeah. thinking? Yeah, all we'll right. just see when you come back. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. Fun. No worries. <laughs> See ya. All right, guys. So the owners are leaving now. They're going out for a little while. So um, we're here on our own. So we're going to ask if anybody is here with us right now, can you please come and talk to us? Simon and I are here now on our own completely. So if there is anything you want to say or do, now is the time to do it. If you do walk past this area here, the hallway, we might be able to detect you with those light grids that's there. We might be able to see a shift in the lasers. Now, if you are here, I'm just put that in my pocket. Now, if you are here, we do ask that you make some noise and let us know you are here. Remember, Simon and I come in love, peace, and respect. We wish you no harm whatsoever. We're only here to communicate with you. So, the owners have now left. We are here, 100% available. I'm getting the chills big time right now. 100% available for you to talk to. We have devices that are here right now. 
don't and know why that keeps turning off, but anyway. Yeah, the light grid keeps turning off. I'm not sure what that is. It could be. Why don't you try another power bank, maybe? Well, that's the second power bank. Oh, okay, right. Well, it's something else then. It probably yeah, is. That's the new one. Yeah, right, okay. I've got my black one in there, but it might. it's not digital like this, so it might actually run it better. Who knows? Yeah, anyway, we'll, know. we'll worry about it in a minute. Um, we've got we've got here we've got a cat ball there we've got a cat ball up there yep. we've got the laser grid we've got the the uh, REM pod that one that's yep, me. It does that so if you are here and you touch any of these devices that's the dishwasher let's yep. get the crap out of <laughs> <laughs> and there's a music box over yes a music box over here guys there's another music box over here behind the camera but you'll hear it if you do walk past this doorway here this that used to be the main entrance to the house, I would say. If you walk past this doorway to this room, you'll you'll make some. Yeah. You heard that? Sounded like it came from over near the door. Yeah. Could very well be the gate. It could be. Oh yeah, could be them leaving because the red light was still out there for the brakes, so they're probably still leaving. <coughs> now, if you open the front door again, that'll be great. Yeah. You've done that like a handful of times now. That's absolutely brilliant. Any noise you hear in the background, guys, it's the dishwasher. It's almost finished its cycle anyway. Um, now, if you are here, like I said, we're coming love, peace, and respect. You can touch and play with any of these devices that are around us. If you come and talk, if you come and talk into this device here that I'm pointing at, if you talk directly into that, it's recording our audio at the moment. So when we play it back, we'll be able to hear you. If you stand in front of this device in my hand, I should see you because this is a, a, a thermal imager. So your temperature change should show in front of me and I'll be able to see you. Simon's about to turn a device on that you'll be able to talk into and we'll hear you in real time. Right? All right, yep. So if you are here, you come and talk into this device that he's got here that he's touching now and we'll be able to hear you. Who's here with us right now? Please make yourself known. And we can start by saying your name into this device here, please. My name is Dan. His name is Simon. We come in love, peace and respect. We're here, we're here on behalf of the owners because they've asked us to see if we can communicate with you. To see if we can get some answers from you. You do not have to feel afraid of us. We're only here to talk. Uh, is that... That's not me. I just moved like that. There's a flickering... Look at that in the light. Yeah, it's uh, um, a... <laughs> Uh, ADSL box. Oh, right. ADSL box, right. Sort okay. of thing, MBN box. Yeah, okay. Really? Don't know why that light... They got me every time. Yeah, well. okay. So we'll see well, a light. I don't know what to go with it. The light, light moving over here, don't remember that, guys. It's... Wait. Did you hear that? You had said yes. Did you hear that? No, I didn't Big hear Big thud. Can you please make that noise again? If there is anybody here right now, can you please come and stand in front of me, in front of this device, and I'll be able to see you. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid at all. It shows you in a different colour spectrum so I can see you. 32.6, 31, 32, 32.1. The air conditioning is going at the moment, guys. This is saying 31.7.8, 32, going back and forth. And that's facing into that room. Into that room, yeah. yeah. Alright, let, let's, for a minute, let's stop the necro and we'll see if we can get some actual. Um, 
Now, we want you to come to us if you can, please. Can you let yourself be known? If you are here, make yourself known to us, please. Similar sort of noise to what we've been hearing. The tapping sound. Yeah. yeah. Night Watches Paranormal Australia. Join the YouTube channel now and become either a supporter or a VIP member. Simply enter your MasterCard, hit buy now, and you'll be straight in. You can join the community where you get all the behind the scenes posts from all of our teams. Join now. If you are here, can you open up the front door, please? And when you were, you were doing it earlier, we'd love you to do it again. We might be here on our own, but we are open to you to do that sort of stuff, to show us that you are here. Add again. Yeah. <clears throat> if there is someone turning off the light grid just here, can you turn it back on? Someone turned that light on earlier, the bedroom light. Can you do it again? Or turn on any of the lights in this house? Can you touch one of these little balls here? That one there, or this device here, if you touch that device there, with the green light on it, it's got K2 written on the front, K2. If you touch the K2, it will light up with some colours and let us know that you are here. None of this equipment will hurt you. It all just flashes with colours or little sounds to let us know that you are here. Why is it that you why is it that you make yourself known to the family here but not us? Can you do this for me? Can you do this back to me? Keep in mind, guys, too, that sometimes activity takes a bit to build up. Mm. Takes a bit of trust. Have that, the entities have to realise they can trust us, and then they can build off our energy. They can. You are welcome to use mine and Simon's energy. If you are good, you are welcome to use mine and Simon's energy. If you are evil, then we don't want a bar of you. You cannot touch our energy. You cannot now. You cannot attach to us. You cannot follow us home. You are forbidden to come anywhere with us outside of this home. That is for anybody that's here. Yep. Oh, that's not me. I just heard a thud down there again. Can you do that again for us? Can you walk in front of that grid for us? Show us that you're there. Oi, oi. Did you hear that? Did somebody just say something? I thought I just heard a girl's voice. Can you speak again? 
Well, there's, um, is there a little bit of a light? Oh, is that possibly just um, light coming through the window or something on that? <coughs> oh, there's a light coming through the window. Okay. Yeah. Somebody in that room there? Yeah. Yeah, light coming through the window. Can you walk in that, walk it, walk through that um, hallway, please? And we'll see you through the grid. Come on, talk to us now. Okay, you can do it. Can you turn the lights on? If you can't touch our devices, if you haven't got the energy or the power to do that, can you do something that you would normally do? Do we intimidate you or something? Can you do it again for us then? That's what it sounded like. Mm. But I could be wrong with what it was. We're going to pull out another device in a second that you can talk into. We do have the Olympus voice recorder guys, but we're just going to do it on the pad here. Okay, to anybody that is here with us now, any entities, we ask you to come forward. I'm going to turn this off. Okay, that's recording. Recording? <coughs> yep. I'm just turning this off a sec. Put him here. Okay. Now, anybody that is here with us right now, we ask you to come forward and come and speak into this device right here, this big square big rectangle shaped um, device that is sitting here that I'm pointing at right now. If you come and speak into that, we'll be able to hear you. The first question I want to ask right now is, are you somebody who used to live in this home that is from the original family of this home? We have some devices that we'd like you to touch just to show that you are with us. We have a device here that I'm pointing at with a little green light on it. It's got K2 written on it. Yep, this one over here. Can you please touch that for us to let us know that you are here? Use mine and Simon's energy if you need to. Guys, I don't usually wear these. I'm not a religious person, but in this situation, in this home, I'm going to be wearing these. To any entities that are here right now, if you are evil, I'm, we are protected by Jesus Christ. You are not to touch us, you are not to come home with us, you are, you are not at all to attach to us. You are forbidden. What you are allowed to do is communicate with us and let us know you are here. We have devices around us right now. You will know what they are by looking at them and seeing them. We want you to touch them and interact with them and they will let us know that you are here. If there's anybody in this front room right now, can you please come out and show yourself? If you walk in front of this black box device that's sitting on the uh, dresser, if you walk in front of that in this doorway, it'll go off and it will let us know that you are here. You need to come through it though to let us know you are here. If there are any entities that would like to show themselves through that mirror, you are welcome to do so. 
because our camera here will catch it and we'll be able to see you through that. Can you please let yourself be known? Make a noise for us. Tap on a wall. Drop something. Do something. Laser grid going under here, guys. So we're just watching it for a second. Can you open that front door like you've done four times or so already? Why have you gone so quiet? You've done more with us here with the owners than you have while we've been alone. We would really appreciate you to do that because it'll it'll um, show us that you're here. Yeah. Come on, show us that you're here. You can talk into the microphone of the camera or into this phone over here, which is this device right here that I'm pointing at. Oh, Capbull! Capbull, Capbull, Capbull! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's not us, guys. That's a cat ball. Absolutely can brilliant. You come Thank over you. Come on to this side and touch this, um, oh, this other jealous. device here with the with the green. Oh, and again and again and again. Look at that. Oh. oh, sweet. Thank you. All right, who's with us now? Let's go. Let's get this action moving. All right, can you come and touch this device over here, one with the green light on it, right there? Oh, thud. Hear that? Can you touch that device there with the green light on it, please? The reason we asked them to touch the device is... And again, the cat ball, look at that. Oh, Thank you very virgin. much. Virgin, thank you. And we know it's not faulty because it's too long a gap between touches. Usually if it goes after each other, like, all the time, then we, then we usually reset it, like, if it does it straight away. The reason we ask them to touch the devices is because if it happens as we ask, we know that it's intelligent. It's not just a chance, you know what I mean? So, can you please touch that device over the ball again? Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Can you come and do what you're doing there to this one over here? We've got a little ball there. So another ball just over yep. here. And we've also that. got the device next to it, the little green light. Can you touch that? <laughs> sit the, that's the REM pod. I'll sit that over there. Yeah, the back. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yep. Now you've got three devices you can touch there. Yep. And we've also got oh, cat ball again. the grid. Um, facing into that room over behind the camera which should pick up through the mirror yep. you can see it through the now, mirror now there was a um, no, Jaden was saying about a lady yeah a lady taps, taps on the door taps on the door and, and sits on, on the edge of the bed yeah can you can can you maybe uh, show yourself with that um, the grid that, that with all those red lights Simon's in there now. He's got the necrophonic plugged into him. It was the spirit box. That died. The other camera died. We got everything's dying on us right now. So I don't I don't know what's going on here, but we're not hearing anything. We're not seeing anything. But all of our fully charged equipment is dying. So go figure. I don't know why. Anyway, we're here right now. Anybody that's here with us, we want you to talk to us and let us know that you are here. If anybody's here, talk to Simon out there. Open the front door. Make something move in here. I want to talk to you. If you are here, please. We come in love, peace and respect. Please talk to us. Let us know you are here. Already Checking female. cameras on. Right. Now. In there on, the, on Simon's lap is the device. If you're talking to that, he'll be able to hear you and he'll speak it out loud and let me know. We've got a camera on him recording him. We've got a camera on me recording me. If you touch that other device in his other hand, it'll light up with different colors. And he's also got two balls on the windowsill behind him, two little clear balls. If you touch them, they'll light up. You've already been touching them tonight. And a big rectangle 
um, box. If you touch on that device, it'll light up and flash as well. Who have we got here tonight? How many entities are in this home? Remember to tell Simon. Talk to him in that device on his lap. Loud and clear. Loud, clear and slowly. How many entities are in this home? <clears throat> Ten. Crap, I didn't hear him when he said that. Clear in my throat. Can you say that again for me? What is your name? Tell Simon your name, please. My wife, I don't know what I said. Are you part of the family that used to live in this home? Was this your original family home for many years? Do you like the fact that there's another family living here that aren't part of your family? Does it bother you that they're living here? Remember, talk to Simon in that device or else I won't hear you. Yep. Does it bother you that they're living here? By having things fly off the wall, bowls flick up off the kitchen bench, you know? Tapping on doors, being seen sitting on beds. Something about mother? You want them to know you're here? When I first bought the place, my daughter was two. Yep. Um, she was having a nap in my bed and she woke up hysterical saying there's a mean mum that crawled down the wall. A mean mum. Yeah. Mean mum that was getting angry at her for sleeping in mum's bed. But right now when you're finally here with some people that have technology that can hear you, you're not talking to us. What's your message? You know, you, you show a little young girl, you're crawling down the wall, scaring her, shaking her bed. Come on, shake the bed for me now. Let's see it shake. Why scare a young little girl? Don't start doing crap like that. If you don't want people living in your home, guess what? Tough. You're dead, okay? You can't live here anymore. You know, we do come with love, peace and respect, but sorry, you can't go around tormenting and, and disturbing families by trying to scare them out of the place. What do you want, the house to yourself? You're dead, you can't use it anymore. Move on, follow the light. Because I tell you now, if you keep tormenting the family, yeah, we're going to come back and we're going to get rid of you, okay? We're going to come back, we're going to sage this place, we're going to put holy water through the place, we're going to put crosses everywhere, we're going to get rid of you completely. Because I'll tell you now, even if you're not an evil entity, you're being silly, you're disturbing the peace, you're disturbing this family. They might live in your home, but it's not your home anymore. You've passed on, you've passed away. That's the owner's come back. You've passed away, it's time to move on. So just know that this family are a lovely family and they don't need to be disturbed anymore. So don't disturb them. If you have anything to say, now is the time to do it. <laughs> Hello, my wife. Hello. No, female wife. Just know that you cannot disturb this family any longer. We ask for you to talk to us so we know that you are here. Answer any questions of mine. Tell us what you need to tell us. We're here for you to talk. All right, we're running out of time now. Simon? Yep. Turn it off. Right, so you got some, you got some things come through. 
which was cool. He said some things, but um, yeah, they're home now. Cool. They've just pulled up in the driveway. So yeah, we'll have to cut it short. Yep. So well, hopefully we've got some really cool evidence. Hopefully, guys, hopefully we've got some really cool evidence here. Um, but uh, we're on limited time because we are in someone's home. But um, whoever is here, we do wish you love. We do wish you respect. Uh, respect. <laughs> we speak. We do wish you respect. We do um, want you to live in peace with this family. Live in peace with them. Yeah, live in peace with them. Exactly right. So. All right, guys, we're going to head off. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yep. And um, anything else you want to say about this? Don't forget to go and check out all our other teams. Here we've got Brisbane and South Australia, Adelaide, yep. Tasmania, Geelong, yep. Western Australia yeah. coming up. Yeah, we've also got our international teams. We've got uh, Japan, Japan, Florida, and we're about to kick off with Canada as well. So we've got some really big teams yeah, coming out. Really well. um, so yeah, don't forget to go check out their videos and stuff. Uh, join us on all the socials and uh, yeah, we'll see what evidence we got out of here in this short amount of time. So, alright guys, have a good one. Have a good one. See ya. Yeah.